look at this i'm using my welcome to another vlog i'm um using my sticky things that i showed you last week i've actually stuck it on the television and i think it's a bit crooked never mind um right so this vlog it might be shorter than normal because i'm having my cataract op this week um but i am going to see two exciting flats tomorrow and i'll take you with me um i'm wearing a very old dress from love your look clothing um john will it's you are john L love you are look clothing um it's very old and very big but this is a really good top tip because the belt sort of makes it look not so big and uh, uh, <laughs> wearing my lovely sandals i think the phone's going to fall down and my godson's here so we're going out for lunch at brighton beach house so no filming there it's also very windy so maybe not much filming but i'll show you the highlights of our weekend in a minute and i'm wearing a dark denim jacket and I'm taking my big blue bag, which isn't near me, but you know the one, the tur turquoise one, because I've got my swimmies in it in case I want a sauna at the club. So that's it so far. Okay, see you later. Charlie's come in. He was being really quiet so as not to disturb us. But this is great without the tripod because I can put it anywhere that's shiny. Yeah. Shiny. Yeah, yeah. Isn't he tall? <laughs> anyway, on with the rest of our weekend. We had a very... Th I don't know if I've told you this before, but Charlie and his mum were the first people to visit when I moved in here 15 years ago. And Charlie's the last person to stay before I move out. <laughs> we have come full circle. More in a bit. Right, I've got Charlie, <laughs> my godson to become a pyromaniac. I have so many papers from my decluttering splurge that it would have taken me a month to um, get them through the shredder. So my friend over the road has lent me a bin and Charlie's going to set fire to it all because nobody's got any washing out now. We're trying to be thoughtful. Then we're going to eat again. Pyromaniac. In charge by Romaniac. Oh, look. Oh, my God. You're really good at this, Charlie. Well, let's see how it goes. But, I mean, it's all paper, so it should go up pretty quickly. Oh, my God. It's, it's good. When do you put the chimney on? When it, well, we don't have to put the chimney on. But... Well, it could be dangerous. The chimney will make it go woof. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're going to leave it open? Well, I can put the chimney on. I don't mind. I... It's going to go pretty quickly though, it's all paper. Very smelly. Oh my God, big flames, Charlie. <laughs> him to stop? What would I do without my godson? This is man's work. Well, no, we this is, whole movie this is about my history reason. going up in flames. Good dark path. Everything I've been doing for the last 20 <laughs> years, all going up in flames. It's good to move. It's yeah, so good sure. for your soul. I feel like all the stagnant energy is going. You can tell I've had some wine. Yeah, um, exactly. You're getting sentimental. Well, not really. Not really, no. No, opposite, I feel... No, I feel... Um, I'm burdened. I feel liberated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the mantra so hard. And this literally means I am one, I am that, I am me. All is in within me, all guides me so hard. So I invite you to take a moment and just connect with your breath. Breathing easily and effortlessly. And repeating the mantra so hard. What's the event called? Oh, it hasn't got a name. It's, we're at the big beach cafe doing a meditation. There's Simon on the right, there's Louise on the left.
right it might be a bit better with my airpods in right it's monday morning i'm meeting my kirsty her real name's ellie to see two flats that are off the market that's why you pay for these people i just realized i'm in the dark um so we're meeting at the club i need a coffee desperately at a croissant run out of coffee my lovely, wonderful godson who helped me so much this weekend um, has eaten me out of house and home and coffee. Anyway, brilliant night last night. That did me the world of good. And we're off to see two flats. Have I just said that? That are off the market. That's why you need a Kirsty, otherwise known as Ellie. So you're coming with me. I hope the AirPods have helped you hear me better, even though it's really i think it's the hottest day of the year we have a big breeze which is phenomenal see you later right i'm in my first uh apartment viewing in my favorite block as you know look at this view from the balcony let me put you on wide birdie treat treats and foxes and squirrels and there's the buddhist center and this is Ellie, and this is Kevin, <laughs> showing us round his beautiful apartment. Just a quick one. Look at these ceilings. We love the ceilings. It's just gorgeous. That's so quiet. I feel like I'm being really noisy. <laughs> Gas fire which I'm thrilled about. Beautiful, big. You could do a lot in this hall, Kevin. It's massive. I know, I thought like this hostel. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think about? It is very wide all um, Everything so one needs. Yes, and then she's going to rent for a month before we find somewhere. Um, so, or it can be longer than a month. Um, and then she's going to rent for a month before we find somewhere. Really decent sized spare room. I am very thrilled with this. Look at the views. That's where everyone gets together. Now, contrary to where we're going next, there is no view of the sea. Do I care? No, I don't. I love it. I love it. It's quiet and peaceful. Only a shower, however. And here's the master bedroom. It's got a very big bed in it. But then I've got a big bed in mine. Do you know what? I'm thinking aloud. I think I would make this the double bedroom. Hmm, to be discussed. Hello, baby. Look, that nice man, Der Derek, Derek, told us there are, a, this must be one of them, they're a pair of squirrels who've got a nest right outside Hello. that balcony, Ellie. And they're two foxes as well. And there's one of them. Why is he just, oh, gone, going. He's enormous. Well, you can probably tell I really like that flat. That is my third flat that I have fallen in love with. But the good news is that Ellie, otherwise known as Kirsty, <laughs> <laughs> agrees. What what was it we loved about it? It had a really good energy, didn't it? And yes. lovely views. Yes, lovely views. No sea view. Big compromises for me. No sea view. No bath, but nature all around me. It was immaculate, the apartment, and you, wasn't the it? The apartment was beautiful, as you could see. Proper nice ceilings as well. See, I suspect the next one we go to, they'll all be like square boxes. But we'll look past that and look at the view. It's going to be a spectacular view, um, everyone. But please do bear in mind that we get weather like this <laughs> i said two weeks a year what did eddie say 
two days a year. <laughs> so we need to think past it all. But what I loved about that one was overlooking the Buddhist garden and squirrels and foxes, apparently, and birdie tweet treats. Um, so, yes, that's definitely hot favourite for today so far. I hope it's not going to be really confusing for, for me. I hope I don't walk in and look at that view and go, I want to live here too. <laughs> this is the view. Look at this view before I show you the penthouse. It is boiling, but bear in mind it's only like this two weeks or two days of the year that is one view but look building listen to the noise and now i'll show you the flat it's empty so we're all right to oh look is that gas it looks electric i've let i, I let it i've locked it for you Nice, because well, I'm like that at home. I'm completely... Lovely views of the country and the walks. Yeah, it's nice because a lot, a lot of these seafront blocks, when you're not on the side, you've just got views just of straight, the front. Yeah. Yes, nice no, side, this, is, this, is, well. this is lovely. I don't think you'll have any trouble at the right price. Well, to be fair, we've, had to, we've, we've got about five viewings down here. So Good. Just the price. Oh, happy. look at this. Ellie, have you seen this? It's like being on a ship. I'm speechless. Oh, wow. Absolutely speechless. Quiet with the windows closed as well. Apart from the building work. Oh, I do love an ensuite. I love an ensuite. bathroom isn't there separate loo oh it's only a separate loo yes you've got en suite and then you've got oh i thought and then you've got WC. yes i knew there were two bathrooms i'm gonna make it on your youtube am i yes you would you want to be oh. he's from fox and sons my favorite animals <laughs> have i done the kitchen i can't remember if i've no, done you the haven't. You start on the bathroom. it's a new kitchen Big fridge freezer. Has it got a washing machine and dishwasher? So the washing machine's... Um, oh, yes, it's in, in the loo. Yeah, What's it yeah. doing in the loo? Why would you put... Why? Don't ask me. No. I mean, bearing in mind, good airing cupboards, good spare room, good sizes. Lovely. Lovely. What a view. I cannot get over that view. That is the view. I would want to face it, however, and you can't, because there's that ensuite. I love an ensuite. So <laughs> what did you all think? <laughs> I bet they'll all go mental for the view. That's the best view I've ever seen. I didn't like anything else. How about Ellie? Yeah, I'm the same. Hadn't... I'm the same. That view was impeccable, but... The flat needed a lot of work, didn't it? It needed a lot of work, and that's the very top end of my budget. I mean, a washing machine in the loo? In the pink loo? In the... Ugh, that would have to go. <laughs> the tiling in the ensuite. Ugh. Um, the ceilings. Now, my godson commented on that, and he's so right, because Wick Hall has the most beautiful ceilings. It's a smart, posh flat. This, the noise from the works... I know it'll be finished one day, but I don't need to see the sea two weeks of the year looking like that. No, yeah. It's two weeks of the year. Um, right, okay, so Wick Hall we can't do anything with till they sort their lease out, which is the end of this month, so that's perfect. He's in a hurry, that's perfect. So we'll carry on looking, won't we, quietly? Yeah. Subtly, Eddie will. Um, I'll let you know if I get. Oh, sorry, I'm still doing this on YouTube. <laughs> we need to have a private conversation now. More later. <laughs> well, hello. This is what I wore today. My thinnest summer frock from Australia. That's how 
hot it was. Um, right, what did I want to say? Yes, let me sit down. It's, get, it's going to be shorter than normal, I'm afraid. Look, I've got these lovely glasses that Amanda gave me. We did go and see the ducks, but it was all getting too confusing for my poor adult brain. Sorry, I'm looking at something that one of the guys who works on the pond has put out. It's a hen that Ray gave me, a pretend hen. Anyway, I hope you liked that first flat as much as I did. What a lovely feeling. It just felt like the first one I saw that was at the top. Not the other two, three. I've seen about four flats there. Like this one, like the fact that the balcony was completely separate. Um, I would have loved it to have been higher up. I'd love to be able to see the, see in the distance, but everything's a compromise. It was a nice, large flat. Um, so we will see. I think we're moving forward, but we need to find out about the freehold. There's a, somebody's taking over from somebody else and, and he can't sell it till they've got share of freehold. He's a very nice man, explained everything and no chain. So that could be the one folks. I mean, we're not going to stop looking in. I think we will keep to that block. I just realised how badly I need the wildlife around me, more than a sea view. All I have to do, I'll take you next time, we'll go for a second viewing. All you have to do is literally get in the lift or, or walk down the stairs, walk out of the front door, walk down the road, walk down the road, 10 minutes, there's the sea. You can see it within five minutes. So um, I think that's the place for me. So that's it so far. I'm having my eye done tomorrow, so I can't answer you. I answered a few comments um, when I got back from my big day out. I'm absolutely exhausted from all the heat. I walked all the way further than where my flat will be, all the way to the club. And um, I was dehydrated when I got there. I was just drinking gallons. I'd love to go for a swim, but I'm meeting my wonderful solicitor and her son, who I know, um, for a celebratory drinky tonight and maybe a little food. And then I'll be up at six to go and get my eyes zapped. Zap. So I'll report back when I'm able to see properly. Uh, so thank you for, oh, oh, I was gonna say thank you for watching. Um, I've got this lovely, I haven't got time to do the full, full set of makeup, but look at this gorgeous, slightly glittery, um, can you see? Number seven gloss. They've brought out um, a whole gloss range. This is called High Shine. I don't know what the whole range is, but it all seems to have a little bit of sparkle. So have a look out in Boots. Well, I think they sell number seven in America as well. Have a look, because it's good stuff and it's always reasonable. This is not a paid collab. Um, and that's all I have to report. Sold the house, think I found another flat, and I found a house to rent, really reasonable, three bedrooms. I don't need it, but it's so reasonable and it's rotting Dean. So I'll show you, I might show you that on the way down, but that will be in next week's vlog. And I moved there. I'm staying the night with Ray between packing and completion. What am I telling you this? It's not till the end of the month, sorry. A lot more to come. No more decluttering, hopefully. Just got to sell some furniture because it looks like I'll be having a two bed flat. Okay, that's all for now. See you next week. Thank you for watching. Three of you will be receiving a Susie Sue scarf. Leah's um, in charge of all of that. Mwah! Big love and thank you for your support and comments. And I know that sea view was unbelievable, but please bear in mind that is only for a couple of weeks in the entire year. And the noise was horrendous. So um, that's it, folks. See you next week.